Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a video on the new server that I'm making. I am coding the entire plugin which will run the server all by myself. And so that's it, let's go through a little bit of what it's going to be about. So, basically, it's going to be a tower defense server. And just so you know, any of these ideas are, sub are subject to change. Because if you guys have a better idea or something that I should add, you know, anything at all that I think is good, um, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to add it. I've already had a bunch of people post on Planet Minecraft, and I'm adding an, an extra four things that they've thought of already. So, here we go. Um, basically, as you know, tower defense is, you know, um, you join a game, and when the round starts, uh, there will, like, mobs will start to spawn up down a path. Let's say the path is this, you know, this wall, you know, they go down here, they go up, like that. That's the path, right? Okay. Just, just an example. Um, and then what you do as the player, if you ever played Bloons Tower Defense, I played that game so much, oh my god. Um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So you build towers around the map, that fight the mobs that come. And so the mob, zombies, skeletons, spiders, pigmen, whatever, they'll, they'll come down here, they'll walk, and if they get to the end, and they get to the shrine that that's right here at the end, if they make it to here, then you lose one life, or a heart. Now, uh, I'm adding a small twist to it. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is you join the server, you're gonna have one or two towers. Um, and a tower is, for example, I've already coded one here, this is an arrow tower. As you can see, it has uh, damage per shot, a rate of fire, and then the DPS, which is the damage per second. Um, so let's say you join with here, let's, you join with, oops, I'm an idiot. You got eight. Okay, so this is all. That's all you have for this round. Um, when you first join the server, you, like you're not gonna have a whole lot. All you're gonna have is a you know a couple towers, maybe this arrow tower and then like a fireball tower or something. Um, so you join a game. Once you join, you'll be spawned in the in like the the thing. You'll be given one minute to build up your towers, and after that minute, mobs will start to spawn, and it'll go by waves. Each wave will get harder and harder. Um, as as the mobs get harder, they'll, uh, some will run faster, some will have more health, there will be boss mobs, and so on and so forth. To spawn a tower, it's pretty cool. All you do is you right click, and it builds the tower immediately. Obviously the map would not be this small, this is just, you know, a diagram or whatever. But that's just an example tower that I thought up. And then it would shoot the arrows out of the, the top, and it would shoot them at the mobs as they're coming by. Um, inside of the actual game, you can earn points, and these points can be used to uh, upgrade your towers inside of the game, um, as far as, like, you know, damage and stuff is concerned. And also, uh, here's, like, the little twist that I added. Instead of just being in control of the towers, as the player, you're going to actually be in the action as well. Uh, you can walk on the path and you can fight the mobs along with the towers. Now, you have to be careful because, uh, um, actually, I'm sorry, no, you don't because the mobs, like, they won't be able to attack you. Or maybe they will. I don't know yet. We'll see. That'd be kind of cool if they could attack you. Um, but you will be able to attack the mobs. And um, anyway, after a ra or after a game's finished, depending on how far you get, is how many tokens y um, you'll get for the round. So let's say you get 20 tokens. Now you can use these tokens or whatever to buy more towers. You can um, you can also buy tower upgrades. Like I'm not talking about like it, like individual upgrades um, like inside each game. I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought of that yet. This is all just brainstorming, so f please feel free to give any feedback. Um, but you can also buy upgrades for your uh, for your person, for your hero, if you want to call him or whatever. For you, 
you can buy like an upgrade to your swords and your armor and you can buy uh, one-time perks like extra strength extra speed um, I'm actually gonna be adding something uh, I'm gonna be changing the tower construction I'm gonna be making it so that when you build a tower it'll actually look like it's building like the the blocks will actually go like by themselves like that and it and it'll build up and then once it's finished there will be like a little sparkle and it'll say the tower is complete that way I can add different perks like um, faster build times insta build you know all that kind of stuff so I, I was actually gonna work on that tonight but um, I ended up working on uh, port forwarding my router which took me like three hours and thank you <coughs> to hold on what's his name I told him I'd give him a shout out JDM HF H4K4 uh, his name in game I think is black Mexican uh, redneck Mexican that was it <laughs> oops <laughs> um, so a special shout out to him he helped me figure out how to port forward because I'm an idiot when it comes to that stuff so he helped me get all that set up so thank you very much sir um, but anyway as far as the game goes or the server I also plan on adding uh, co-op so that you can have up to like two, three, or four people on the same map, all using their own towers, to uh, to um, to fight against the mobs. I'm also going to add a PvP option, or a PvP mode rather, where it'll be like a player versus a player. They'll spawn on opposite sides, and there will still be a path between them. But how it's going to work is um, the points that you get, like in game, can either be spent on tower upgrades or they can also be spent on um, sending mobs to the other player which is how you win so you have to find that balance of well how much how many like how much do I send to hurt him how much do I upgrade you know you got you got to figure that out so there will be the uh, PvP option I'm probably gonna add co-op PvP to do like 2v2 and such um, I just got to figure out how I'm gonna do that um, there's another thing that I was thinking about. I'm not sure how to implement it, but I think it'd be really cool. I was thinking to add crafting recipes to the towers. Like, um, somehow make it so that you have to basically craft your own towers in order to, like, to get them for the game. So if you only craft yourself two towers, then that's all you have for the game. Like, like for the game that you join. I think it would give players something to do outside of the of just you know normal tower defense. I think it would also it would give players like uh it would like open up a trading market to trade the materials that you need to build towers that you can spend your tokens on. So you can spend your tokens on upgrades or you can spend them on materials for your towers. I'm not sure how to implement that yet. That's just kind of something I've been throwing around. If you have any ideas on that, I'd love to hear it. Um, I think that's about it. I, oh, I was kind of thinking like maybe for the the idea I just said about the uh, the materials, like uh, have special mines that drop like custom named items, like uh, like tower um, power cell or something, and they, and you need like two power cells and then ten wood and or ten stone and something to construct a fire tower. I don't know. Just browsing or brainstorming in my head. So. That is what I've been working on. If you would like to help with this project, I'm more than happy to accept it. Um, right now, I'm going to need builders to build maps. For, if you have any, if you have ideas for maps, um, I would like to keep the coding to myself because, uh, not to sound rude, but I like being in control of what of what is being coded. And usually, when I code with, with someone else. Um, first of all, if they use the same line bracketing style, like if they if they code like this, like if like if they make a method, uh, public void stuff. Oh, that sound was a nice sound. If they put it on the same line, I can't even tell you how much this irritates me. I don't know why. I don't understand why this bothers me so much, but it does. I need to have you know it looks so much better to have it on the next line. In my opinion, you can code however you want. But anyway, I don't like coding with people usually. If you really want to, I can probably find some, like, some kind of code for you to write for me. Um, 
if you want to come watch while well, I could I'm more than happy to do like a live stream or something like that or just have you come on team viewer and watch and I can explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it if you want I would be more than happy um, but that is about it so if you wouldn't mind I need all the ideas and feedback I can get for the server because I, I, I'd like this thing to get some attention if it can um, so if you could give me some feedback and you uh, visit that post if you don't mind as well I would greatly appreciate it so until next time thank you for watching